We want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we want to let you know that we are praying for you, those who are viewing this on our YouTube channel, as well as for our members here at Northside in Temple. Yes, we all know that it's been a tough year, but our faith has not faltered, and we continue to believe in the power of prayer. Let us pray together. Holy God, our Father, we thank you for every day that you allow us to wake up and to enjoy the life that you have created. And God, we pray that you would help us as we come to the close of this year and get ready to embark on a new year. We pray, God, that we would put our whole faith, our whole trust in you and in you alone. God, we, we love you. We thank you for the salvation that we have through the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your great love. And we pray, God, that as we go about our everyday life, that we would give you glory and praise, but we would also share with others your message, your word. We pray for those dealing with coronavirus. Pray, God, that you would be with them and bless them. And God, because you are so great and because of your wonderful love, we are reminded every single day of how wonderful it is to be one of your children. And Lord, we pray your blessings upon our time of devotion today as we read scripture and as we reflect upon your word and as we reflect upon a holiday season and the conclusion of a year and the beginning of a new, we pray that you will make us always mindful of you, your grace, and your glory. And we pray your blessing upon this devotional time. We commit it to you, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, for our Bible reading, we want to draw our attention to Mark chapter 5. And the text that we'll be talking about for a few moments, looking at together, Mark 5, verses 25 through 34. Mark 5, verses 25 through 34. And there was a woman who had had a discharge of blood for 12 years and who had suffered much under many physicians and had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. She had heard the reports about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, if I touch even his garments, I will be made well. And immediately the flow of blood dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. And Jesus, perceiving in himself that power had gone out from him, immediately turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my garments? And his disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing around you, and yet you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. But the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came in fear and trembling and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. When we consider the text, we see that this woman had had this issue of blood, this disease, 12 years. The text tells us that she has tried a lot of different methods. She's spent all that she had and even uh, gone to these different physicians and she has heard these reports of Jesus and she has this great faith but that even if she can just touch his garment that she can be made well she goes in and she makes her way through the crowd and she touches just the hem of his garment she feels the healing power of Jesus take away the disease that she has been suffering from for so long. And you know, Robbie, one of the words that I noticed especially immediately, uh, that word shows up a lot. I think it's, it's testimony to the power of God. Certainly, there's a, a great deal of emphasis on this woman 
And, and what does the text highlight about the woman? It highlights the great faith that she has because she believes that not only can Jesus heal her, but she has this faith that even if she doesn't get to go up and say, Jesus, can you please make me well, that even if she just reaches out and touches his clothing, mm -hmm. that she can be made well. Yeah, so I think one of the lessons from the text is about her faith and how that's a model for us. That's our attitude and the kind of response that we ought to have toward Jesus is one of faith. But then also it is about Jesus and his power and his authority and that he has this divine power to heal. So it's about her faith, but it's also about the lordship of Jesus Christ who we flee to when we ourselves are hurting or distressed. And just as the text uh, concludes, your faith has made you well, go in peace and be healed of your disease. So I think as we reflect upon our situation of 2020, you know, we find healing, we find peace in Jesus Christ. And even in the midst of trouble, we have faith. The right response is always faith. Well, Robbie, we can't go back and fix anything about 2020. Uh, so as we think ahead to 2021, what are some goals and aspirations for days ahead? I think one of the things for me as a youth minister, as well as a lot of other youth ministers out there, we want to just get back to basics and, and not just focus so much on all of these events and activities and programs that we have in place. Sometimes it's easy to get caught up in just going through the motions. And I think that as we look ahead and we think about what has happened over this past year, it's caused us to, to do some reflecting of not just the things that are going on around us, but some self-reflection. And I think one of the things that I would like to do is spend more time with the cultivation of relationships, not just with others, but also with, with God and uh, in prayer and study and service and in just the little things in life. Because I think sometimes it's the little things that we miss. Yeah, and Robin, you and I have had conversations over the past many months about uh, frustrating aspects of the coronavirus pandemic that so many of our plans have just had to be altered or changed or just pitched out the window. So I like your idea there of focusing in on what what's essential. And a crisis often has the effect of helping us focus or dial in on those things that really matter the most. We wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.